Here we'll share some tips and tricks for using the Model Explorer in Sintu Cloud. So I'll navigate to my Models folder and open our model file in the Sintu 3D view. Here we'll navigate to the Resource Explorer and we can open the Model Explorer either by double clicking on the model file or by selecting the Explore Model button. In the Model Explorer, we can see the hierarchy associated with each model file. And we can also see model properties in the Model Explorer. In the Model Explorer, we can toggle on or off the individual model files. Or we can also use the dot icon and select the isolate button to isolate specific elements in our scene. Using the pick models tool, we can select an individual model element in the 3D view and see it highlighted here in our model explorer. We can also select a model element in the model explorer and use the look at and go to features to easily find and navigate to the model element in the 3D view. And with the individual model element selected in our model explorer, we can see the detailed properties for the individual model element as well. Now that we've covered basic functionality and navigation, next we'll show how to use the Model Explorer with the Sintu comparison tools as part of a typical issue tracking workflow. Here I'll open our scans in 3D view. And toggle on our model data you can see both data sets here in the 3D view. Next, we'll jump into the interior view of our data sets and enter a scan location in scan mode. And with the 3D display mode active, we can see our model data aligned together with our scan data. So here we'll activate our comparison tools. We're doing this comparison in feet and we can compare our scans to our models and turn on the visual difference tool. We'll be using about a one and a half inch tolerance for this comparison. And we can see items within tolerance highlighted in green and any items out of tolerance highlighted in red. We can turn on our visual check tool to easily distinguish what's in our scan data or existing conditions and what's in our 3D model design or coordination model. With our visual difference tool on, we can see this element here highlighted in red. And when we switch over to the visual check tool, we can confirm that element is coming from our model data. So here we can use our pick model tool and select that element in the view. This will highlight the element in our Model Explorer, and we can see the detailed properties for that specific element. So we can see that this is a exit sign wall mounted coming from our electrical discipline model and the lighting fixture type. Now we can use these detailed element properties as part of our issue tracking workflow. So we can open the Sintu annotation tool and click add annotation. Place the annotation on the element and we can categorize this as an issue. So we can give it a title. We know it's from the electrical discipline model so we can label this as electrical. We can set a severity, we can set a due date for this issue. 
And now in the description, we can copy some of the element properties. So we can copy the element name, element type, and the source, file, and level. And then we can assign it to another project member. When we click create annotation, it'll save the issue to our annotations list. And we can continue this process of navigating through the project and identifying issues using our comparison tool. So we'll switch the visual difference tool back on and continue navigating through our project and identify other items that need to be flagged. So switching back to our visual check tool, we can see this element here uh, that's also in our model. And again, we can use our pick model tool to identify this element. So we can see this is a fire extinguisher cabinet. It's probably just been modeled with the wrong mounting height. And then again, we can see the detailed properties uh, for this element as well. So again, we can open the annotation tool and mark this uh, as an issue. So open the annotations, you can add annotation to the element, set as an issue, give it a name. We know this is coming from our architectural discipline model now, so we can label this as architectural. Set a severity, set a due date, and then copy some of the properties into our description field here. We can do the name, type, source file, and level. And then we can assign it to another project member Click validate and create the annotation. So now that we have a couple of issues identified in our project, we can switch over to the report tab. And here we can see our issues listed together with detailed information, descriptions, and thumbnail uh, images as well. And from the Sintu Report tab, there's a few ways to export the information out of Sintu Cloud. We can generate a PDF report that can easily be shared and sent to other team members. So when I open the PDF, we can see the thumbnail, issue description, and issue information all contained in one PDF report. We can export these items uh, in a BIM collaboration format file to bring into programs like Revit or Navisworks using uh, BCF file readers like BIM Collab. And we can also use our cloud program integrations with Autodesk, BIMTrack, and Procore, where we can push these issues from Sintu into BIMTrack as a BIMTrack issue into BIM 360 or Construction Cloud as an Autodesk issue, or we can push these items into Procore as observations. So in this short video, we've covered the basic use and functionality of the Model Explorer and how to incorporate it into your issue tracking workflow using Sintu Cloud. We hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.